In this video, we're going to randomly create weapon set for a monster with Playmaker and Unity. As you can see, I already have a goblin imported into the scene, and that goblin is rigged with multiple weapons. You can see swords and daggers, and there's also a slingshot. He also has a shield, and we're going to remove what is necessary to create each of our different weapon set. To begin, we're going to add a Playmaker FSM component. So select that from the list, rename the component, to equip a monster or whatever you find works for you, then click edit, and we're going to add a variable. That variable is going to be an integer, so we'll call it int equipment. Make sure you select as an int and then click add. Now we're going to add three events. The three events are going to be equipment set one. So type in equipment set one. Equipment set two. Add that one and as you'd probably guess equipment set three. Once you have added those three, then rename the first state. And that's going to be select the equipment set. Then what we're going to do is add the three events that we just created. So it's equipment set one, equipment set two, and you've guessed the equipment set three. Next, we're going to add an action, and the action is going to be random integer. So uh, open your action browser and select random integer. We're going to set the minimum to 1, the maximum to 3, and inclusive of the maximum. Then, we're going to basically add 3 integer cards integer compares. So open your action browser and get integer compare and add it three times. For the first one we're going to select our int equipment. We're going to select one and set it to go to one. Select equipment one. For two, we do the same, except we set the equal to two, and equipment set two. And for three, we do the same thing, but we set it to equipment set three. Now that we've done that, we need to add three more states. These are going to be for the three weapon sets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name them to something relevant. So once you've got them positioned nicely on the screen, I'm going to set the first one to sword and shield. The second one is going to be daggers, and the third is going to be the slingshot, and that gives us our three different weapon sets. Now for each of these states we're going to add a finish transition, which will take us to the end of this FSM. So once we've added the three finished, then we're going to add a final state and call it end. After that, we're going to join up all the transitions. So weapon set 1 is going to go to sword and shield, weapon set 2 is going to go to daggers, and 
weapon set 3 is going to go to the slingshot. Then we're going to join those three up, the finished, to end. Now we're going to get the first sword and shield and we're going to get destroy object. We're going to add that multiple times. For the number of objects that we're going to actually destroy, in this case I've added four. And finally we add a next frame which is going to connect to the finished which will send us to the end. Make sure you move that to the bottom of the list and set it to finished. Now what we're going to do is we're going to expand the Goblins model. So go to your model and expand it to the different weapons. In this case I'm going to expand it all the way down to the hands or each of the hands and because we're doing the sword and shield we're going to remove the slingshot first. We don't need the slingshot. Next we're going to remove the daggers so we've got to go all the way down the model down to the hands and basically remove each of the two daggers. So in this case it's left dagger and right dagger. So we drag them into the destroy object and here I've added one too many destroy objects so we just basically remove that action. Now since we're going to, since we use this, all of these um, actions, we can basically go and we can select them all. And then, we'll, so to select them all, you just click on shift and then click each of the different actions. Then right click and copy all of them. Now we go to daggers and we paste all of them back in. Now we're going to change each of the game objects that we have removed. And in this case, we have the daggers. So we're still going to delete the slingshot, so we can leave that. But we can remove the sword and the shield. And that leaves us with the two daggers. And everything else can pretty much stay the same. Now we can go to the slingshot. Now for the slingshot, we're going to remove the daggers and the sword and the shield. So we need to add another action of the destroy. And then we need to change the slingshot. So we can change them to both the daggers, the sword and the shield. Now what we can do is we can run it. And as you can see, we get the sword and the shield. This is random between the one and the three. One being sword and shield. If it selects two, and as you can see there, it actually didn't do anything because I didn't set the random number to our integer. So what we do is set it to the integer and you can now see that the person has a slingshot. And if we stop and run it again, or what we can do is we can actually duplicate the goblin now. And if you see me here duplicating the goblin, then we can drag him into the scene in different positions and check all of these because the any duplicates will now duplicate the FSMs that I've already created. And what we can actually do is make this now a prefab. And each prefab of the goblin will now have this FSM. So when I run it now, you can see that one has a slingshot, one has a sword and shield, and the other has a sword and shield. If I run it again, you can see that things have changed. We've got daggers to the left, sword and shield in the middle, 
and the slingshot. And that is how you create random equipment for each of your monsters. Now remember to save your scene and save your project. And if you want to create the prefab then just select your goblin and drag it into your prefabs.